All right, this is an experiment that I've wanted to try for quite a while now, just something that's been floating around in the back of my head. Um, first of all, let me say that I know that you can braze with CO2, just like with nitrogen. Uh, CO2 is pretty much inert um, under brazing conditions. Now, I've done plenty of experiments with that, and I know that it's just as clean as nitrogen. Um, but then I had an idea of what if you could go into an area that you were brazing and basically flush any oxygen that had gotten in there while you were uh, swedging and things like that and then braze it, would it come out clean? So I've made, this is just the breather for like an oxygen tank. Um, you know, see old people wearing them. <laughs> but <laughs> I got it rigged up to my gallo gun and I'm gonna put both ends in this pipe and, and flush it and then braze and see if we get any oxidation inside. So I am making a few assumptions. I've got this crimped like this because when you see this demonstration done and both ends are open, to me that's not really realistic. You're getting a chimney effect and you're getting air just cycling through the pipe. And I don't think that's realistic unless you're putting together stuff on a vise. I mean, if you're on a system uh, that's, that's had refrigerant in it, what you've got on this side of the system is just refrigerant um, moving this way. So you cut your pipe and a little refrigerant bleeds out and then you may have a little bit of oxygen get in here, but I don't think that you are having to flush out oxygen through the entire system unless it's a brand new system. So my idea is just, you know, if this is good enough to flush all of this oxygen out of this joint, um, it would probably be good enough uh, to work under realistic circumstances. The other thing is, it is true that I'm sticking these tubes down and I've got this crimped and so I'm not, uh, basically I'm forcing all of the flow that way and that's not necessarily realistic, but the way these gallo guns are, they're such high pressure and you can put out so much flow that even if some of the, my assumption is that even if some of the CO2 is going to go this way through the system, you're, you're basically just going to have gas coming out are, are going both directions. Um, and so you won't get a ton of flow on, on this open end, but it'll be enough to push out whatever little bit of oxygen has made its way into the piping here. So I'll take this apart and basically we're just gonna feed a tube down this way and then another tube down this way. Do some pressure here. <laughs> Put them together. All right, I'm gonna braise this and then we'll cut it open and look at it. All right, so here's our pieces and look at that right there. So here's the braise. That is way cleaner than I thought was even possible. <laughs> I mean, perfectly clean. There is zero like, dust in there. I can't even wipe out anything. So there's zero oxidation in that pipe from that. Um, Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, you know, I, I, I'm not saying that uh, you should do this in place of flowing nitrogen. It's for a very specific situation uh, where, you know, you've already got refrigerant in the system, so there's no oxygen in there. You only need to flush out a little portion. Uh, why would you use it? Well, maybe you're out of nitrogen. Um, <clears throat> there are also cases where uh, it can be very difficult to flow nitrogen for one reason or the other. 
in the case I'm working on today, which got me thinking about this, I have hundreds and hundreds of feet of line set, just a big spider web on a, on a, um, a pretty large system. And, you know, I'm thinking that this honestly might provide a cleaner braze than trying to uh, flow through all of that and uh, possibly end up, end up with pinhole leaks if my pressure ends up too high in certain areas and stuff like that. So um, just something I've been thinking about, you know, I'll probably do some more experiments with it, but hey, this is a pretty interesting uh, first step, I would say. All right, I did another experiment with flowing the CO2. And in this case, I tried to make the worst case scenario. So this tubing just had oxygen in it, no refrigerant, nothing. That's just straight off my truck. And I've got the ends closed so the CO2 can't actually make its way through and purge out the air. And that's more, I guess, close to what you would have on a unit with both ends blocked off. Uh, by the units themselves. So I'm going to cut this open live now and we're going to look at it. so far. Ooh, that's that's real clean. Let's get to the braised part. Oh my gosh, look at that dude. That's like spotless. Shiny as new. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. That's freaking incredible. And I, I went heavy on the braze. I brazed it so much until I got drips down here because I wanted to simulate like the longest that you would have a torch on a joint for. Man, that's incredible.